Hey, hi guys. Uh, my name is uh, Justin Beebe, and this is basically going to be a channel basically for just history topics and history videos I will do in order to help those who may need help with maybe learning about history or just general want to interest knowledge that they may want to have. Um, the purpose of this is basically just to entertain and to educate anyone who may view one of these videos on a history topic. Now, I will not always be able to go in depth on these topics. Sometimes I'll be able to just provide the basics, but the basic, basic purpose, I guess, would be to give a general knowledge, strip everything down to the basics at least over a topic just so that they get the basic general knowledge of what they need to know over be it a event, battle, war, person, whatever topic may come up. Um, as for videos that I will do, it will be mostly, I it would be a combination of topics that I may choose personally to do, or if anyone has a suggestion or idea that they would like me to do for, as a topic video, feel free to put that in the comments or put email me or however. Just let me know, and I will more than happily do so. So it'll be more of a combination method because I want to include the audience as, po as much as possible as well. Um, basically, as an introductionary video, I'd also like to input the factor of as we be as I begin this channel of why it is important that we even study or know history in the very first place. And this is a history in modern era here, the twenty twenties now is becoming very isolated, it's becoming very forgotten, neglected, it's not taught properly in schools, some schools are even cutting it out when they can. It's really not paid much attention to even by state or national laws. And that's honestly a major, major disappointment for society as a whole and for the world because history has played such a vital, important part in the story of humanity. And it's important that we not only know this, but we remember it and pass it down. History, although many might not see it, I can see where some may say, well, math's more important, or English, or writing, or uh, what's another one here, health. Um, and yeah, science and all these other things, they are important. They have purpose in life, and I can see their purpose at times. But history, people come and look at it as, why do I need to recite an old date or a figure? Why do I need to know that? That has no purpose to me. Well, I'm here to tell you it kind of does. History kind of has many benefits to it if you t just kind of look at it right. And one thing it can do, it can actually help you a lot with life skills. And you may be looking at me crazy right now and thinking, well, this guy's nuts. What the hell are you talking about? You pardon my French. <laughs> However... Uh, history, one skill that this can help with is evidence assessing. Now, when you go through history, you often have to make conclusions. You often have to look at evidence to maybe look at a certain event to determine, how, is this the right way it happened? Did this truly happen or did it not? You're going to go off multiple accounts, not just one, to try to prove your point. Now, this can help, this can help you learn that skill. Now, you, you may ask, how has this helped me in life? Well, in life, say... You're, say you have children, which uh, there's a good chance that some of us will. That child, at some point or another, however you teach them, is probably going to tell a lie once in their life. You need to be able to properly deduce when they're lying to you. you, you need, that is a necessary skill, or else it could have dire consequences for you and the child. Another thing that history kind of helps us with is it can help us with organization. Keeping things in track by remembering and in memory as well, because if you're remembering dates and other things, you may not think of it, but your mind is working to remember those dates and events and people. And in turn, your mind subconsciously is becoming better at remembering things of your everyday life, like certain tasks you got to do for the day, recipes that you may cook for a meal, stuff like that. Another thing that history is vitally important, and this is probably one of the most common said phrases, but it's probably also the most important and true, is the fact we learn from our past and the factor how can we move on as a society, or as society, do pardon my voice here, I had a little bit of a cold, but anyway, 
how can we move on as a, as a society or as a nation, civilization, or species if we do not learn from the mistakes of the past? Because if we don't, we're going to repeat them. I hate to tell people this, but those who may not believe the Holocaust, for example, took place, I hate to tell you this, it did take place. It happened. It was very, very tragic. It was horrible. It was probably the outmost downright evil act ever done in mankind's history. But it's important that we continue to teach about that. We cannot forget about it or else somewhere down the line, maybe hundreds of years from now or so, if we failed to, someone could end up doing that exact same thing again. And we cannot ever allow that to happen again. It's important that we don't. History basically has a multilingual subject. It can also open doors and jobs. It can get, By giving you some of these skills, you're already prepped for them. You already have these skills obtained, in a way, just by studying the history aspect. And skills such as remember, such as memory, organization, I know those come very common in workplace jobs, and they can actually help you. Another factor is it can actually help you your citizenship a little bit, because say you live, well, for example, I live here in the United States, and we all, in our elections, to elect who represents us in government, we have free democratic elections. Now, these elections, if you really don't know anything about the person you're voting for, you might as well just not vote because you could be doing more harm than good, depending on whatever that person may support, based on your personal beliefs, of course. But, however, by if we look at issues that are highly contentious in elections of today in the United States, such as abortion, or um, well, I'm trying to think of another one here, some... There's plenty, the death penalty or death sentence, whatever you want to call it, stuff like that, uh, taxes. Some of these problems arise from past incidences. And if we don't understand what caused them in the first place, we cannot possibly hope to understand them now. And then the same thing goes for if we wish to solve them, we can look to the past for maybe a clue or an answer of how to go through the right path. It's basically a major significance in that. And also with the fact that elections, it helps you to become an informed, fully educated American citizen in this case that can fully – that can go to the polls and vote or take part or argue in politics with credibility. You, can, you know your facts. You know stuff that's led up to this. You're not a blind fool arguing just because they don't trust something. That doesn't know anything. You're just arguing out of gut instinct. You need to have facts to back up your claims. I'm not saying that you cannot argue with the other form because I know many people personally that can, but it makes you more effective as a speaker or as an as a argumenter when you have facts to back up your claims and it looks better on your part. History as a whole needs to be studied because we cannot afford human history to be trashed. The world today is becoming a very dark place in which to live in. There's democracies that are starting to fr fracture everywhere. you got dictatorships in every corner of the globe almost. Human liberties are being discarded. Humans are just becoming careless. They're not caring over things they should be caring about. They don't care about hardly anything important anymore. It's more, what am I going to do today? What about me? We need to look over world history if we wish to solve any of these problems. Because if we forget this, I, mean, I honestly do not believe that we can possibly ever not go down this path if we do forget it. We're going to bring ourselves self-destruction on a scale that we have not known. History is important to future generations because if they don't know where they came from, what the heck are they going to tell their children? We need to know this. And we need to know where certain things in modern day laws and other stuff, where have they come from? What caused them? We need to uh, say we're trying to fix an issue. Well, we need to know how far back does this issue go and has it actually gotten worse or has it gotten better over the years? What do we still need to do to fix this issue? It's important that we know all this. History in the long term needs to be conserved. Historical sites, uh, everything. It's important that we teach it anyway. 
You don't have to be a history teacher or go to college or anything to do this. You can simply look it up on your own time. There's plenty of resources out there that offer much, much, much information about history. You don't require any of that. As long as you're passing it on, you're doing your part. And I encourage every one of you who may watch this to do so. Now, as I stated before, basically, with this channel, I will try to include as many topics as I can. I will not, however, try to get too much into the political side of things, but just because I know how people can be very offended with that, and I do not want to offend anybody's political views or biases or anything like that, I will not. I will try as best as I can not to let any of mine show, and if I do, I do apologize. I will not be speaking about any topics that may turn kind of hateful or violent or... Well, there will be some violent topics we will tone down, of course, but no hateful or racist talk, no. There will be none of this. This will be straight at getting the basics of certain topics in history, simply to get an educated view for viewers or anyone that wishes to have either help or just a general knowledge because they're interested in learning about a certain subject here in history. And I will be more than happy to answer any questions anyone may have in the comments. And any suggestions they may have for a video, I will also heavily consider and take into account and try to cover those as much as I can. So this is basically just the introductionary video. Just wanted to put this out here. Again, my name is Justin Beebe. I hope that this channel does well, and I hope to not only inform you a lot about history, but I hope to maybe change your mind a little bit over the offset and its importance over why this is such a big thing and maybe even a fraction get into your head that maybe you can do your part as well we're, we're all people that can help out with this no matter who we are no matter how big or small no matter what race no matter what ethnicity no matter what country we come from religion we can all tell, do our part to help us out that's all i have for this video so until next time i'll see you then